You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Avers. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody in these modern times should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. We have Michigan's go-to dental implant dentist. Uh, we've had him on the program before, Dr. Craig Golden. Dr. Golden, welcome to the program. Thank you for hand having me here today, Randy. Now, I know you have a stack of photos, so we'll get to as many of those as possible. But for people that don't know your practice, who's the typical patient, typical dental implant patient that you see? Randy, my typical patient is really, it's anyone who's uh, missing or has missing or failing teeth, anyone who's embarrassed by their smile or has difficulty eating or speaking because of poorly or loose dentures or painful teeth. We transform lives in just one day. Our patients walk out with beautiful, uh, natural looking teeth so they can start eating and speaking uh, and living their life right away. And a, a particular portion of our patients are denture wearers. And, and our patients that are wearing dentures, um, they do not realize even that this may be an option for them. So many of our patients have been missing teeth for many, many years, wearing dentures, not enjoying their lives. And that's a huge segment of our patient population. Dr. Golden, do you think that this is the future of dentistry where it, some, like there'll be no dentures as we know them today, they'll all be attached to something? If you could elaborate on that. Absolutely. I will tell you that is the future of dentistry, and I will tell you that the future of dentistry is today in our office. We're doing this every day. And let me tell you what my patients tell me, Randy. You know, they love this procedure. It's life altering for them. This is the things they tell me. They tell me it's fast. They love it because all the work is done in one day. It's easy. You know, we pamper our patients with sedation dentistry, okay. all the treatment. All the treatments done while the patient's sedated. It's affordable. We offer some financing options for our patients and it's beautiful. Our patients leave with a beautiful set of natural looking teeth so they can start eating and enjoying their lives right away. Are there a lot of people uh, in, uh, in Michigan in general? I mean, are there a lot of people wearing dentures or headed to dentures? How big of a problem is it? It's a huge problem. You know, in my area of, of Michigan, I can tell you we can fill Comerica Park 10 times with patients that would really benefit from dental implants like we're talking about today. There's tens of thousands of patients that are, have missing or failing teeth or poorly fitting dentures. They really could benefit from this. If implants are so good, why aren't they all doing it, especially the denture wearers? If they could come well, in and get teeth that, that don't come out, What's holding them back? Many of them are doing it, and they're doing it at our office, the Cosmetic Dentistry Institute. But what's holding them back for many of them is if they're a denture wearer, they simply don't know that it's available. They've received dentures. They've maybe kind of not been going to the dentist anymore. It's years since they've been to the dentist. And when they go to the dentist, they might go in because their denture is now starting to slip or get loose or become painful. They go to the dentist and the last thing they want to do is spend any time in the dentist. The dentist may say, well, it's time for a new denture or you're ready for a reline. And they're just not hearing what's available today. So for many of our patients, it's because they're not aware. They, they've been out of the out of sync with going to the dentist and knowing what's even out there today. How old can you be to do this? There's no age limit. Um, I'll tell you, I had my uh, patient just recently in his 80s, and he had this done, and we started talking. We started talking about different options. His previous dentist said, you're going to lose these teeth. Uh, you, need some den you need some dentures. And he really didn't want to hear about that. It's like, I've had my teeth my whole life. I'm not ready to have false teeth that come in and out and sit in a, in a cup of water. I want some other options. So we talked about it. And, you know, we think about age being uh, a limiting factor. It really isn't. Don't we all want to have uh, a quality of life? 
So our entire lives, not just our younger years. So 80s, 90s. So there's, no, there's no there's no age limit. It doesn't matter. And, and so and, and these people, by the way, how soon can they eat if everything works out after they get the procedure? They can, well, they can eat right away, right away. You know, they're start right away. They no longer let's say they're wearing a denture. They're used to dentures flipping and flopping around in their mouths and needing uh, glue and adhesives to help retain those dentures so that they slip a little less. Um, so right away, that's why I kept saying it's life altering right away. They can start eating. Now, there's a period of time when we first give them their teeth where the implants are healing. So there's a, there's a period of, t of healing uh, that we ask them to eat softer foods and a softer diet. But after that healing period, they can eat whatever they want. So what do they like more, the way it looks? Because I've seen some of your before and after photos and they look natural. Do they like the way it looks or do they like what they could eat or a combination of both? Oh, I'll tell you, it's a combination of both for sure. I have some patients that come to me and they're they're only uh, they haven't had a good meal in the longest time. And they'll come in and say, I just want to be able to eat something. I want to be able to eat something good. I can't. I've got my denture. It's plastic on the roof of the mouth, my mouth. I can't sense temperatures or I can't taste foods the way I used to. I just want to be able to eat. And I've got other patients that come in and say, you know, my, I don't, you know, the eating's not a big deal for me. I just want to, my smile back. I want, I want to start dating again. I'm embarrassed by my smile. I'm just looking for some type of smile. And what's interesting is that between the two of them, sometimes those uh, those people will kind of overlap. So the, so the guy that we gave, he just cares about having a great meal. We give him a beautiful <laughs> set of natural, looking, great looking teeth. He's having that great meal. And now he's out in the community. He's feeling his smile. And somebody says to him, a stranger comes up to him and says, hey, you know, I, I just want you to know, I'm, I've noticed you, you've got, wow, one of the nicest smiles I've ever seen. And that guy, who only cared about eating is is riding high and he's looking at himself in the mirror and he's getting used to the new smile and he's loving his his new so smile. his like image changes around town because now he's smiling all over town maybe he becomes more approachable or she becomes more approachable yeah absolutely and likewise that patient who just cared about the smile you know she may she want, just wanted a new smile she, her daughter's getting married she wanted to be ready for that she wanted to not mess up the pictures she got this new smile and now she's able to eat and her and she's eating things that she hasn't eaten in the longest time she's having that that salad with all the fixings the cu cold cool cucumbers the uh the the salad dressing the the um sunflower seeds the cranberries on it everything and she's eating things that she hasn't been able to enjoy for the longest period of time so that patient who only wanted a nice smile is really enjoying life and and she'll say to me you know dr golden i know when i first came in i told you i only cared about my smile and and you did a great job dr golden with my smile i love my smile so but but the eating is great it's even better than the smile so they can bite so that makes my day when they tell so me they can that bite things like with their front teeth like a like, like a carrot a raw carrot or they have to be careful with those kind of things yeah, no, after, after after that initial healing phase, it's eat whatever you want. I tell patients, you know, have an apple, have some corn on the cob. You want that, you want that uh, baby back rib? Go for it. And patients are feeling a little guilty. You know, they haven't eaten these things for the longest time. So I'll sometimes get, a, I'll get a call in the office. Patient will say, uh, ask the doctor. I just have a question. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're having people over for dinner. And by the way, I'm going to segue here for a second. You know, we're, people, when they can't eat, it affects their life. Sometimes they're when they should be going out to inner, dinner with friends and family, they avoid it. Now they're not avoiding it. Do they tell anymore. you this stuff? Anyway, they should make a call and say, hey, I'm having people over for dinner. I'm serving corn on the cob. Normally, I wouldn't eat that. Is that something I can eat? Said, Absolutely. Eat it. Eat it. And can you imagine, you know, if you had dentures trying to eat with two plates of plastic that are just sitting and resting on your gums, we're trying to just squeeze and smash 
food in between these sets of plastic. What kind of quality of life is that for anybody? And that's what we ask our patient, our denture wearers to do all the time. So this is so wonderful. So no more dentures. To be able to know. Yeah, no more dentures. Get rid of the dentures. Now, now your center that you have. I mean, this is really what you focus on, what you do. But typically, and correct me if I'm wrong, how implant the procedures typically done is you go to one doctor, uh, maybe one place for the imaging, another place where the doctor does the surgery, and then you go to another doctor where they put the teeth on top, and many places, you know, put the implants in, wait about six months, then you get your teeth. In your office, you do everything in-house, like all in one place. You do both parts, the, the surgery and the, and the teeth on top, and you also have like an in-house lab. Is that why you're able to do it so quickly? Yes, yes. You know, we're set up for this type of procedure. And, you know, dentistry's changed over the years and it wasn't always like this. These sorts of procedures that we're giving people teeth in one, in one day used to take over a year to get teeth. So we're able to, because we do all the procedures in our off office with our own lab and, and uh, we do our own surgeries, everything, we're being able to, to one-stop shopping for our and patients. you're in Michigan. I mean, are people traveling great distances to see you? I think you told me that. Yeah. we. You know, we're kind of a destination. So we're in southeast Michigan, suburb of Detroit. But patients come from uh, to our office from all over, from neighboring states as well as Canada, because we border with Canada. So we have patients from all over. And if necessary, we're set up for uh, finding them a hotel or uh, we just kind of get them in and out. This is a quick procedure. Everybody has a life to lead and it's not coming to the dentist multiple times. So we're excited that we can do this in, in such a uh, few number of visits. Now, what if you have bad gums? I want to ask you this. So if you have bleeding gums, bad, if you have gum disease, are your gums too bad to get this procedure, to get new teeth supported by dental implants? Randy, that's a great question. And so many of my patients have gum disease and are concerned about that. And maybe they've heard misnomer that, hey, if you have gum disease, you can't get dental implants. Totally, totally false. Now, look, we're, there's gum disease uh, in, and there's in, in teeth that have problems. We're going to get rid of those unhealthy teeth and the gums are going to heal and become healthy and they're going to support our dental implants wonderfully. So, this is so many of my patients have gum disease. It's something we deal with on a daily basis and it's not a contraindication. So you're big on sedation because there's a lot of people, I guess, that are afraid of this procedure. Obviously they're numb during the procedure. How are you using sedation and what do you monitor to, to, to make sure they're safe while they're being sedated? Well, let's, let's talk about sedation dentistry for a second in general. We offer, we're a full service dental practice as well as placing implants. Sedation dentistry for my patients is a godsend. You know, it may be somebody who's anxious to go to the dentist. It may be somebody who's just busy and, and doesn't want to come back to the dentist multiple times. Sedation dentistry allows us to get a lot of dentistry done in very few visits, often as little as one visit whether somebody is anxious about going to the dentist or uh, is just a very busy person. But for this type of procedure that we're talking about, dental implants, sedation is uh, incredibly helpful and mandatory because our patients are going to be there a little while. We want them to be totally comfortable at all times. And with IV sedation, they have little or no memory of the experience at all. They're totally comfortable, totally relaxed throughout the procedure. And it's extremely safe. As a matter of fact, it makes it makes dentistry safer because it lowers blood okay. pressure. It keeps the patient relaxed. Now, you say this changes people's lives. You brought some photos. Uh, let's go to a few of those photos. What do you have for us? Let me start with this first gentleman right here. True gentleman, nicest guy you ever wanted to meet a real family man, his granddaughter uh, would drive him to all his appointments. And he, his dentist told him, I'm sorry, Keith, you're gonna lose your teeth. You need to have some complete dentures. And it just didn't match, uh, you know, he had mismatched teeth, but this didn't match his personality. The thought of having t uh, dentures that come in and out of his mouth. So there was absolutely no way he was going to go through with that. And he was older. And, but 
the age didn't matter. It was quality of life. He wanted to spend time with his family. Let me show you this okay. after. <laughs> Looks good. So much more youthful looking. What a change. Look at these side by side. Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you see the difference that that's made he in his appearance? He looks so much. He looks way younger. As a matter of fact, it was funny when when we were doing when we were making his teeth and helping design the right smile for him. He's he's so in love with his granddaughter. He says to me, Doctor Golden, my granddaughter has beautiful teeth. I want to. Uh, I kind of want to simulate a little <laughs> bit of what she has. Can we do this? If that's what you want. Let's do that. So that's what we did for him. And what he told me came back for a follow up visit. He said, Doctor Golden, this is funny. Uh, my grand my uh, my granddaughter said to me, Grandpa, now I'm jealous. You've got a nicer smile than I have. So he was so thrilled to get his, you know, to to get his life back and to get a beautiful smile out of it. Let me at ask the this, this question. We've talked a little bit about this on the phone in the past, but a lot of these people, by the time they get to you, they've already hated their teeth or not liked their teeth or couldn't eat for about five, six, maybe ten years. Is that the case with people like this? That's the case with with people like this, where they've had, uh, in his case, he had a tooth breakout. You know, that's. Can you imagine? You, you're nervous. You get start getting nervous about what can I eat, what can I not eat. If I bite something, is a tooth going to fall out? Am I going to have a tooth snap off? And so they change their diet. They change the way they interact with their friends and their family, and and they avoid eating and they avoid going out and they avoid people very often and so that is the case with it, what happened with this gentleman as well as several is this one of those patients. things where they say you know i should have done this years ago every time every time they, they don't know what what they're waiting for you know sometimes life just gets in the way um they're always you know there's always some reason in some excuse not to, to do it but can you imagine finally after all years of of being nervous about and th having to consciously think about what can I eat and I don't want or I don't want to smile I don't want people when I smile I don't want to show my teeth can you imagine how uh how world opening this is for them so suddenly one day now I can eat now I can smile I can be excited to smile yeah. now um you have more photos what else are we looking at this lady this woman super kind so sweet really nice and you know, there's issues that happen to all of us with sometimes dentistry failing or it's it's time for to, to not save the teeth that we have anymore. Well, her dentist said to her, I'm sorry, it's time to consider some dentures and absolutely no way. This woman is a power uh, house. She's on fire. She's 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 a go getter and a doer. And she looked for different options. But by the so way, she found how, how, us do, how do they online? How do they find yeah. you? I mean, they Google you because I know you're all over the internet. Your your online reviews are over the top. Is that what they do? They just Google implant dentist. Is that the kind of thing to find you? That's how most of our patients find us. They're doing research. They they find us on the internet. They look at our website. They go to our gallery. They and then they and then we meet in person and we talk and they get a feel for is this the right office for me? Am I going to be treated properly here? Are they going to be nice to me here? Can do I feel like this is the right place? So wait till I show you her after. Now the smile fit the person look let's look at it side by side yeah, very nice the smile fit the person it and when you have when you have damaged teeth or teeth that are having problems patients don't smile they're embarrassed the person just lights up when you when you can fix their smile and give and fix their health so, by so, the way, so those too. upper lower teeth don't come so, out those are permanent teeth upper and lower that's correct those are permanent teeth and you know we ask patients we i'll, I'll always give my patient an option. Do you want teeth that stay in or do you want teeth that can be removable and maybe snapping onto some uh, implants? And nine out of 10 times, or really more like 10 out of 10 times, patients are really wanting something that stays in their mouth. That's like their own teeth. They don't want something that's removable. They'd prefer this every day of the week. Dr. Golden, we're going to take a quick break. We come back a little bit more about the process, what they could, what they could expect on day one and more of your photos. You're watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back.
The moment that really was a turning point for me was not liking my smile, not liking how I speak, not wanting to smile, not wanting to speak, being so um, cognizant of what I could eat and not eat. I ultimately got to the decision to make, um, to do the full upper and lower replacement. At this point, there's there's been several changes. I think the, the biggest one for me is that I like to smile again, and I have, hadn't been able to do that freely um, for a long time, and I can laugh and I can smile, and I'm very, very comfortable and happy doing that. Through neglect, the fact of not seeing a dentist in several years caused my teeth to decay. I had a couple of missing teeth. Dr. Golden and his staff leaned toward doing dental implants because of the quality of life. When I had the opportunity to first look at the results after the implants were in place, I was astounded. I was happy. I couldn't believe what I was seeing for myself. My wife came to the Cosmetic Dentistry Institute because of my experiences. She had some significant challenges with her mouth. I had gum disease and I had a bridge failure. He's done a fantastic job with her smile, and her eating habits have improved. I was totally amazed. The next day, I had a beautiful temporary smile. My facial structure had changed. I had a fuller face. I could smile. I was comfortable. And everyone was so happy for me and very proud of their work, as was I. It was customized to my needs and my face. And it was art. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. And with us, we have uh, Michigan's go-to dental implant dentist, Dr. Golden. Dr. Golden, welcome back to the program. So. Thanks, Randy. It's very Thanks, common. Randy. People walk in, no teeth, walk out with teeth. Or they walk in, you have to extract bad teeth, and you give them a new set of teeth supported by implants all in the same day. Is that common or rare in your practice? In our practice, it's common. Okay. It's every day. So it's very common. It's rare maybe in a lot of different offices because they're just not comfortable doing that type of procedure or they're not aware or they're not up to date, really. So... Um, it's what we do every day. We live, we live, eat, and breathe it because it's so gratifying for us good, and good. for my team now members. You brought some photos. What are we looking at? I've got a husband and wife team. Okay. Let's start with the husband. This is Carl. Nicest guy. Great sense of humor. Super nice. Enjoys life as his wife. And so Carl comes to me and you see this picture. And we said, Carl, smile. And Carl's not smiling. His smile has his lips together showing no teeth. His mustache is so long, it's covering his mouth because he doesn't want to show off his smile. But they had a fan, his, him and his wife, Jill, they were going to a family wedding. And this was the incentive to finally get um, Carl to come get his teeth fixed. So he came in. He just wants to be able to eat. He's one of these guys. I just want to be able to eat whatever I want. He gets a, He gets his smile. Look at the smile. Oh, wow. Looking good. What a difference, right? Yeah, the mustache. The, side by side? Uh, the mustache is trimmed. He's showing off his teeth. And better yet, he says to me, Dr. Golden, I love the smile, but I can eat again. I love to be able to eat. Let's take a can look. Can I show let's you his look. wife now? Okay, so his wife. This is Jill. Sweet again. This is the this is the most loving couple you've ever seen. The nice, some of the nicest people I've ever met. Um, they came in in, in in once you know a lot of times we'll get a husband and wife and one spouse goes first and then the other one sees that that one did well. Now I want it. So that's exactly what happened here. So Jill came after she saw how well Carl did. It so was she her was turn. she, she was also a person that back. would have ended up in a denture. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. So look at her. After. Nice. Incredible. Can you believe, can you believe yeah, that that's the same that's person? You know, it, it, her, her life has changed and 
there's uh she's smiling she's living life these are active people they are not going to let bad teeth keep them down and i want you to see you know <laughs> that's a good one this picture i'm so i'm so happy with what we can do with our family of patients we've got the nicest patients i'm so happy and honored to to be part of that when they allow me to be in a picture with them when they allow me to show their pictures here that's so nice you know they they just are so happy that they went through this procedure again and just like you said earlier they're thinking to themselves i wish i would have done this way earlier we're going to get questions about this so i have to ask you because medicare doesn't cover this uh dental implants medicaid doesn't cover this the best dental insurance only covers a small portion so what's the answer for people on tight budgets? Patients are financing this, Randy. We have people dedicated in our office to help our patients find the financing that they need to get the dentistry that they deserve done right away. And this is very common. Patients finance it every single day in my office. You still have to have decent credit, right? Because you're not carrying yourself, but but they, you have lenders that, that lend on dental procedures. That's and exactly so, and so true, it's common. yes. Most people are financing this. Yes, you know, we have to get over ourselves thinking, hey, I should be able to pay for this out of my own pocket. We find financing for our patients every day and they get the dentistry that they need. So no more dentures. I mean, do you think you can wipe it out in uh, Michigan? Yes, we will. That's my job. I'm working to wipe out dentures in Michigan. Absolutely. You say it's just old, old, old technology, old school. Yeah, think about it. it's been around since the, I'm sorry, George Washington had dentures and and it's been around a lot longer than that. Shouldn't we do something that's more modern and, and, and more ready for this century? Good, good. Final message. OK, let's say somebody's watching this. They're of the two groups you talked about. One, the bleeding gum is a bad breath. Lucy, they're headed for dentures. They need a full mouth of extractions and they don't want dentures. And then there's the denture wear crowd. But let's say they've heard what you had to say, but for whatever reason, they're putting it off or they're still skeptical or afraid. What do you say to them? You know, if you're someone who stayed awake with toothaches or is embarrassed by their smile and having difficulty eating or speaking because of poorly fitting dentures or toothaches, please call me. I'd love to help you. I'm inviting your, your viewers today for a complimentary exam. Let's figure out their situation. Go to our website, give us our office a call. Let's schedule an appointment. I can't wait to meet you in person. Dr. Golden, great stuff. I want to thank you so much. And you have a lot of before and after photos they could find on your website, things like that. Do they still get to see you? Absolutely. Absolutely. So they could see you on the console. Well, thanks again. Thank you, Randy. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.